And yeah, let's go ahead and pop that in the water as well. I received this mysterious brown package at my doorstep. It says it comes from a Tom Patterson. Does anybody know who Tom Patterson is? I don't think I know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what it could be. The good news is, is that I think it's not alive. So, well, let's hope because it's been like a couple days since this came. <laughs> All right, thanks Tom, hot sauce, oh sweet, okay, okay, all right, all right. These are so cool, oh my gosh, he just drew these actually. It is, I forget the word for it, but it's when a spider is half female and half male. But yeah, this is really cool. He actually does these with um, colored pencil, so that's pretty tedious, and I think they turned out awesome. He also sent some more tea salad don't, oh, these are the magnets, ooh. Thanks Tom. This is an H Pulcra piece, a really awesome job. He actually does sell these, so if you guys ever want to hit him up, you just email him just the same as you would for buying alive tarantulas. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Tom. It really does help me out because when he sends me these, I can give them to you guys. So I appreciate it. But yeah, so we need to talk about this girl. I hope. So this is actually my, I believe, adult female, OBT, P. Moranis. Cause see, every time I just like do anything, she just starts bolting. Well, she's pointed down though. Yeah, but do you see how fast she can point up? Yeah. <laughs> And so this is one that I've had since she was a teeny tiny sling. Obviously she's my first OBT and the only one I've ever kept. And I've successfully managed to raise her into adulthood. She looks very female to me, but I, I don't really get to see her much. And every molt she's had, she's actually destroyed. Um, now she is quite spicy, so I do try to keep out of her enclosure as best I can. But I did notice that she molted recently and I did feed her and she did take it. There was a molt like deep down in her burrow. I really just want to try to get it to see if I can finally actually tell if she's female for sure. But the problem is, is that she's a little scary. All right, so I can actually see her butt down here. It's uh, it's a little difficult, but you can, you can make that out, right? Ooh, look at that little butt. She used to have her molt like right on the side where I could reach it. Now I don't know if I can reach it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out until she actually pushes it out for me because like, I don't even see it now. I wouldn't even know what to grab. I guess we can just try feeding her and maybe I'll try to explore a little more, but I don't know. <gasps> oh, she got it. Awesome. I think that's like the first OBT feeding clip I've managed to actually get of her. And there she goes webbing. Hmm. I do see something next to her, but I can't. Oh wow, there she is. Where's your molt? Is that your molt next to you? Oh, I see it. It's pushed all the way back there. <gasps> I grabbed the wrong thing, I think. I don't know if I like, I like poked her paw or something. Oof, I don't I don't want her running out. Let me see if I can lift it up a little more, see what we're looking at. Oh, it's so hard to see, I don't think it's gonna happen. Probably get the longer tongs, that would be smart. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let me put this back for you. Sorry about that. I'm gonna leave her alone because she absolutely hated that. Oh boy, so this is what's left of the molt. I think we might be able to actually tell. Um, I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and drop it into some soapy water and see if we can make out anything uh, of this. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so I now have a cup of water. This is just warm tap water with a little drop of dish soap. So as you see, the molt is just like very dry and crunchy, but when you put it in this water and let it soak for a while, 
it makes it much easier to work with to try to find out if it's female or male without like breaking it or cracking it at all. So we're just gonna set this aside and we will also set her aside, poor thing. <laughs> I will be giving her an extra worm later for the trouble. Um, but yeah, we have another molt. So this is Elvira, my Grandma Stola Polkra female. And as you can tell, she is much more chill. Hello, gorgeous. So I did buy her as a confirmed female, but for educational purposes anyway, I usually like to double check if I can. So her molt is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. This molt is perfect. This is a great molt. It still has the carapace even attached and everything and it's just it's like perfect so we should actually be able to tell very easily if she's a female and yeah let's go ahead and pop that in the water as well and let them both soak for a little bit so i actually did manage to get a really awesome time lapse of her molting so let's go ahead and look at that now and then afterwards i want to try feeding her for the first time I think almost a week since she molted if not a week so we're gonna go ahead and try feeding her awesome and she takes it no problem check her out though she is so silky black just beautiful so while she is enjoying this worm let's go ahead and look at these molts and see if we can tell we're just gonna put down some paper towel and here are the two molts. They've been soaking for a little. Um, so I think hers is going to be the easiest to tell. So let's go ahead and try to do hers first. Oh, I do see it is kind of um, torn, which does complicate things, unfortunately. I mean, I do know she is female already, so not a huge deal. But yeah. Yeah, it's ripped like right where we can tell, unfortunately. I do see it though. I still see it. This flap right here, that flap right there is her spermathicae, and that means that she is a confirmed female. See right here? That's an even better shot of it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, and you can even see the little, the little right there, the little... The two little red things are part of it. Awesome. So Elvira is for sure female, which we already we already knew that, but I don't know, always good to check, even when you're buying from friends, because I did buy her from a friend, but you know, you don't always know if the person before them was sure or honest. So I mean, some and accidents happen, so it's always good to just like check. All right, so let's look at the OBT and see if we can make anything out here um, I'm not really sure there's not very much to look at but I'm gonna do my best and see if we can just unfold it if there's enough um, but I don't know she did kind of rip it up and it's been in there a while so all right okay so it is ripped around the area of where I want to see this for Mathicay, but let's go ahead and take a closer look. What do you guys think? I think, I think that's a female. I do think that's a female. Is this, what is this right here? That to me looks like spermathicae. So this is actually a really good trick I want to show you guys when you are sexing a tarantula molt. When you're looking for if it is female or male, you're pretty much looking for the spermathicae or the absence of spermathicae. So if there's nothing there, then it is male. If there is something there, then it is in fact a female. So check this out. When you have a light and you put the light under like the paper towel or a piece of paper or something, that shines through obviously and makes it so much more easier to see if there is a spermathicae. And you can clearly see right there is the spermathicae, those two little antenna looking things. Now it's gonna look different on every genus, so you know, it's gonna vary, obviously. 
But that's how you're gonna be able to tell the easiest way is by placing a light under it and there you go. We have two confirmed females. My OBT has looked female to me for the past like year or two, like I've really thought she was female, just based off looking at under her, but this is the only most accurate way to confirm for a fact if a tarantula is female. And so yeah, they are both girls and I'm super duper happy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did, subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget, I've been this community is probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. Bowser, what are you doing? He wants a worm. He see, he sees all these worms, and he's like, "Wait, where's my worm? I'll get you a worm." All right, friend. So good. Delicious. <laughs> what a great way to end the video. <laughs>